Good day everyone. In this video, I'm thrilled to share with you a remarkable discovery that will transform the way you analyze performance monitor files. During my quest to uncover powerful performance solutions, I stumbled upon the incredible SQL Perfmon Analyzer. This gem of a tool is not only a game changer, but also a real time saver for troubleshooting SQL bottlenecks. Developed by an ingenious mind, it wraps the Windows Performance Counter Analysis Control, sysmon.ocx, and simplifies the process of summarizing performance counter values. Whether you are dealing with built-in Windows counters or application-specific metrics, this tool is a dream come true for SQL pros and performance gurus alike. So let's delve into this exceptional find together and uncover its hidden gems. We will have to search this particular tool uh, in, in the internet. Uh, let's search for uh, SQL Perfmon Analyzer. And then uh, we have this uh, GitHub link where we have this tool. So let's click on that. And then what we'll do is like we will download this particular file. Once the download completes, what we'll do is like we will um, uh, unzip this file and then we will uh, look at it further. We'll move this file to C drive temp folder. And then let's uh, extract it here. The file is extracted now. So what we need to do now is like we need to open this spa.sln on uh, Visual Studio. So let's open it in Visual Studio. So in my case, I have uh, Visual Studio installed. So I will uh, open it there. And then once the file uh, opens there, what we will have to do is like we will basically have to uh, uh, build it. So uh, let's go to uh, build and then click on build solution here. Okay, so uh, the build is succeeded now. So let's uh, go back to that um, uh, location where we have this here. And then now let's go to this SPA folder inside bin. We have this uh, debug folder. So if we can see here, uh, these are the four files that are required for opening uh, this spa.exe. So what we'll do now is like we will just copy this and then put it um, uh, in a folder called spa. And then what we'll do is like we will open this spa.exe and then see um, how is uh, the SQL performance analyzer looks. Let's uh, double click this spa.exe. So if you see, yeah, uh, this is the um, um, uh, tool that I'm talking about. So what I'm going to do is like I'm going to select an uh, uh, existing um, uh, BLG file and then I will just open one counter and then um, uh, see how is the uh, um, um, output looking. So uh, what I'm going to do is like I'm going to click on this and then I will navigate to the location where we have the BLG file. So I have um, a sample SQL log scout in C drive. So what I'll do is like, I will go there. So if you look at it here, uh, inside the SQL log scout output, I'm able to see a BLG file. So let me open that. So it is open now. So you have this plus um, uh, icon here, just click on that and then you can select whatever counter you want to look at. So right now what I'm going to do, I'm going to just select one counter. Uh, just to show you like how is the um, uh, look as far as uh, whatever counters that you're going to select. So here, what I'm going to do is like I'm uh, going to uh, select uh, uh, maybe prep uh, percentage processor time and then click on add here and then click on OK. So if you can see here, 
we are able to see uh, the required uh, graph that is uh, I have taken uh, this performance monitor between 2.30 p.m. 2.13 p.m. to 2.43 p.m. And uh, if you want, you can add uh, more counters as well. So what I'll do is like I will add one in logical disk as well. So let me add this percentage disk time total and then click on OK. So if you see here, we are able to see uh, 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 one related to processor and one related logical uh, uh, disk is added here. So now the beauty is like you just need to uh, uh, click on um, uh, copy here. And then what you can do is like you can paste that output on a notepad here. So if we put that here, well, it just gives you the required information. So if you see here, this is the information that you have. One more thing that you can do is like if you can uh, change the font uh, to um, uh, Courier New and then click on OK, then what happens is like uh, uh, you will get a uh, even um, uh, more uh, uh, readable format here. So if you see here, it basically tells like um, uh, the file from where we got this output is this particular BLG file. It tells us the start and end time of this uh, BLG file capture and then the capture duration and also it tells the server name where it was captured. So if you see here, it basically tells us like uh, the counter name. Uh, in this case, I have um, uh, collected, uh, looked at uh, logical disk percentage disk time and processor percentage processor time. And uh, it basically gives you the overall collection for the 30 minutes. It gives you the maximum value, the average value, and then the minimum value. So let's go back to the uh, SQL perform uh, analyzer. And then you have this um, copy fix it bit. So uh, let's use that. And if you see here, this is even more better uh, than the previous one. So I'll be using this particular um, uh, copy button, uh, which is copy fixed width. And uh, if you see here again, uh, it gives you the details about the BLG file, the start and end time of this BLG file, and then the capture duration, and also the server name where we have collected the performance monitor. And these two things, as far as these two things are concerned, we have the average value, max value, and minimum value. When you are looking at uh, uh, real world troubleshooting, I will be using this tool uh, uh, pretty exclusively. This would be my go to tool for uh, anything related to um, performance monitor files. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Jai Hind.